Good day and welcome to my channel. China where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. My name is Olodu Konyedi and I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel and those who are here to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. And if you are gaining value from this our channel, please the the, the best thing you can do for us to keep encouraging us is just to subscribe and also to share and like our videos. So we will be talking about how to create um, your slab and your beam layout. For every civil engineer, the first thing you should know how to do is how to bring out your slab and your beam your column from any architectural drawing so that is what we will be focusing on today and if you still have any question after this um, video please feel free to um, contact us via the the comment section and whatever it is we'll try to answer your question so this is a typical example of how the end, the architect will send you the drawing if they finish preparing the drawing they will send you the ground floor if it's a, a, a if it's a duplex if it's a single floor ground floor first floor and the roof then they will send you the different and uh, the different views and also this section so you as the engineer you are to determine where your your beams your columns will be situated that is your duty and most time um, the architect may come without any grid line without any grid line so these are the two ways one the architect may put the grid lines or two they may not put the grid lines so very important this thing i'm saying please pay attention it is very very important so if for example this is how the drawing was sent to you before you do anything at all before you do any design is for you to put back the grid lines on your own if the architect did not put you put it on your own either if you measure if you measure the distance which is this is um 230 wall so at the mid how i do mine is i draw i draw a line and if and i try to locate the center of the line so if i do that i have gotten my grid line so i can change the type of my line to whatever i want but this is what i do at first very important very very important i change it to my grid line maybe i change it to red color red so i can start from here and offset then how if you are asking how did i get the exact center of my line uh, if you look at the bottom of your your bar you see offsets or objects offset then if you click it you see this so this is where you tick where you want your object snap to come up this is where with this if i do this wherever i get my midpoint end point it will show up so that is how i did mine by drawing a line and once you want to draw another line locate the center point so if you do that it gives you the center so that's just way by the side so this is what i do first I create my grid lines very important so let me undo all the former grid lines that I deleted I will undo all of them and yeah so we are back here so but here the architect has given us 
the grid line so we we'll work with what they've given to us so once you've seen this how i do mine is i don't interfere with the original of the architect i did i just highlight and copy it out once they are out i can now start working on them without interfering with the originals very important please pay attention to this this is very very important because if you interfere with the original when you want to check or look where there's an error you won't have the original again so copy when you want to work on your architectural uh, plan copy that and start working on it afresh so after i've copied the next thing i do is to remove everything that is not a structural member everything like this cushion share i take them out um i take anything that is not a structural member out i take all of them out all of them they are all going out it takes time but we just keep moving so right now this is free we we'll come to dining we take it out all of them out take all very very important so that you leave only what is the structural element on the drawing all these notation doors they are all going they are not a um, structural element they are all going out this door whatever but at first let's take these notations out everyone this kitchen sink has nothing to do with our structural elements kitchen this notation these right tops take all of them out all of them make it clean that makes your work very clean and take all of them out all all of them are going out so if we've done this we have taken as much as possible out but the goal is to make your work neat and clean so all of them will, will be taken out all of them will be taken out <clears throat> so as you can see we've taken everything that is not structural elements out of here what we do here we'll still do it here but after we've done this we are having a lot of dimensions here which is still not what we need we'll still take all of them out this is we'll take all of them out the dimensions will be taken out so we have a very clean clean work for now that is what we want to do so that when you look at your your work it's very neat um, so normally for every design your design must be functional must be economical must be aesthetics you must have this beautiful look from your your work that you are doing so with this we are coming close to what we want every dimension that is interfering would be taken out most of the architectural dimensions is we we measure center to center as an as an engineer this is how we measure from center to center so anyone that is not a center to center dimensions would be taken out any measurements not center to center this uh, what we can do is to carry it here and this we take it here so typically this is the dimensions we need 8.17 4.87 and 3.3 so now we've gotten here to the area we want we've also cleaned out every other one so that we have a very neat very neat work very neat work 
so this is what it takes time but after you finished it it becomes beautiful to to build so you keep removing it until everything is neat and clean so if you look at it we have um, we have cleaned up the ground floor similar thing will be done on the first floor whatever you do here making it clean neat so with this we can start working on the ground but before we start working on the ground floor we still have to do same thing we did on on the ground floor on our first floor we have to do it that way to keep cleaning everything that is not structural will be taken out we'll take the doors last because we want when we are putting our column we need to know if it will affect the doors or, or whatnot so that's why i've not taken out these doors yet but we will definitely take them out so you keep doing this until you clear out all of them so if you look carefully um we have we have cleaned everything and now you can start working so the next point is um the trick about it is um, your beam must run along the walls of your 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 walls you must run along your walls so that your beams can be hidden is on a case where you can't hide it that you push the beam through for you to see like if i want to put my beam now this as is three it has wall from as is a to f so i will run my beam all through here i will run another beam here i will run another beam just typically i will run beams on the ground floor was that we carry the first floor slab the beams will be on your ground floor wall but it will be carrying the slab on your first floor so if you understand this then you've gotten half of how to create your slab and your beam so the next thing we do is to create columns columns like here i'm saying grid lines that that are supposed to be here but are not even here so what i do typically in cases like this i just copy and i place my my grid lines we're having some grid lines here yeah uh, yeah okay we're having some here and here and here even here so what we do we've gotten all these grid lines is to create our column look at this position now i think there should be a column and our column is 230 by 230 so how am i doing it i'm using poly lines to do it please check up uh, videos on how to do polylines so here we change it to uh, let's say we change it then please pay attention uh we'll come to layer this layer property this is where you separate all your layers puts your layers on different so presently all these are all architectural layers architectural layers so if we must use this we must create our own layer there's a new layer we say column column and the color we made the color blue uh, continuous <coughs> and the thickness let's say we use 0.35 yeah so what we do is to click here no we are, we are done with here once we click here we are having this we come to this point look for column 
and we place it inside and automatically takes everything so this is how we create our columns so we take this column now and we place it here so because everything is blue blue normally we can change it to another color so that we can see properly so if we make here this as this there's a as is here we cannot put a new as is as as is one prime as is one prime okay so as is one prime we can copy this and just place it on just place it where there are intersection So I wanted to put here, but because there's no grid line, I will have to create, that's why I, I left it, I'll create a grid line here. I'll create a grid line here and copy this into it. Okay, so we've got him. This is how you do it. Okay, we need another column here. another column there so i think we are good uh, we could put one here it all depends on you what you want so typically how i design and how you we design they are all different means of designing so it all depends on you if you want to put one here feel free but it's you it's you not me it's you whatever you want we can we can now know if we come here we do this So with this, we are having this. If you want to do it this way, it's okay. If you don't want to, it's still okay. Um, this length, but normally what I do, um, I try to span my columns at three, three meter interval within that range. Three, three meter or at most four meter. But if it's getting to six meter, and if there's a possibility of me breaking it, I will do it. I'll break it. So, um, majorly my spacing is about three three meters, which is okay. I do this. We can even use this four point eight if we choose to. So, but whatever it is, it's your your final decision. So after we've done this, this is five point four by four point eight. So this slab is is a bit big what i do normally i try to break i try to break my span i break my span using my grid lines so if we are looking at this instead of me making this whole place a slab that when they are if it's not properly supervised after construction you may be having issues with vibration of this large slab so majorly what i do is to break it with a beam if i break it with a beam and most time i can put my column here but for now let's just leave this later i will tell you what to do so from there we can now align select all the columns we copy this is a one a this is one a we click here copy from here and place here. 